Hey guys, this is Flash Social Gaming. We're going to do a video today on the topic of team battles. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if it's team battles or if it's clan battles, but there's two people. I'm not sure, but I think it is. So I'm going to be talking about uh, This is a battle I'm not doing. I'll do. Yeah, so it's going to be cool. I know, like, Gal, like, like, Chief Pat did his video on that. I was at school. So I'm doing mine here and right now. So it's team battles. After this, I will go on it. It is cool. So I'm here at Olive right now. It's really cool. Let's put you right here. Let's put me, me, you right here. All right. As you can see. So we're gonna go to the, see the new outrageous game mode right here. You can do this too right now and look see this is what it looks like just as i said in my other video or edit i wish i could show you guys what i meant but this is what i meant until i got the hiccups so see two people but they're i read i watched chief pats but there's they do not share this they do not share the same elixir and cards that is cool we're gonna and today we're also gonna be watching the podcast so Right to, to this video. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode of Radio Royale. I'm Sip and I'm Banks. And today we'd like to talk to you about a cool new feature. Cool. Oh. Very exciting feature. It's, it's so I'm good that it's, it's broken the development team. Yeah. Like oh. we have spent so much time Sorry. playing this game. Mentally, so much time. physically, in everything. every way. Yeah. It's, it's something we've been working on for the past couple of months. It's something huge. And I think it's safe to say that it's the most outrageous game mode we've ever done. So let's, let's talk about how it began. Let me, let me paint you a scene, all right? It's Friday night. The Finnish winter. Snow is falling. It's negative, like it's negative 20 outside. Everyone's freezing. But where are we going? We're rushing to the warmth of a pub where all our great ideas happen. So, we're at the pub. We're sitting around the table, squeezed in by other people, and we sort of have a conversation going, like we usually do, right? We're sitting there, and we're talking, and we're, you know, we're all playing the game <coughs> by ourselves, you know, just challenging each other, and we're thinking, how can we make this better? One idea is, Banks, instead of fighting against you, what if I fight with you? Whoa. Yeah. What do you think of that? Mic drop. Rewind. Rewind. We're here from the future. A little disclaimer for this episode. Bangs, tell them what it is. We're actually post-editing this after we've recorded the podcast. From the future. We are from the future. So during the development process, we we sometimes change our change the name of features and change the name of cards. Change our mind. Change our mind, yeah. We do it all the time. Improve over time. So the name of this game mode has changed and we previously called it uh, perhaps t Team Battle and 2v2, but the newest version is called Clan Battle. So it's Clan Battles, guys. I guess I was wrong. It's the same thing as Team Battles, right? So you, I, oh, I get it. It's Clan Battles, right? Team, clan, you battle with your clan mates against other people, not other clans, I think. That's my idea. So it's team, it's a team battle. It actually is team battle, unless you battle other clans with your clan mates, like clan mates versus clan mates, unless. So what I just got from here is, it's team battles, but they changed name, but it's the same thing. So it's t clan battles. Right, so listen on. Clan battle. Clan battle. So just keep that in mind throughout the rest of the episode. Okay, continue. <laughs> Mic drop. And that <laughs> is how we came up with our new feature, 2v2. And team battle. And what's better than, you know, playing by yourself is with someone else, right? Yeah, absolutely. So how do I start a team battle? It starts very similar to a friendly battle. Okay. So in the in the clan page, you've got you've got a button, right? Where the where the clan chest would normally be at the top, at the top, and hitting that will post a message into the into the clan chat, which another player from your clan can accept. Okay, so I'll I'll see the text and I just hit accept, and we're both in the battle. Exactly. And it randomly matches us against with another clan. With another clan. Yeah. Okay. Right, so you battle other clans. You just like go with your teammate. 
You press this thing. Then you battle against the clan. So I guess I was wrong, but I said team battles first, didn't I? I said team battle and clan battle. So I was right. Alright, so now we're in the stadium, the arena. Mm -hmm. uh, where am I? Where is he? How do we... What's going on? So it works very similar to a one versus one battle. You've got your own decks, you've got your own elixir bar, you can place units anywhere. You got your own elixir bar, you got your own cards. Wait, so you get eight, and he gets eight, and all together it's 16 and you get your own elixir? That would be sweet. That would be awesome. Like, that would be extraordinary that would be epic if we could that would be awesome. on your side of the field uh, but the, the difference the main difference is that you've yes, got a shared king right. tower okay so it's, it's two two towers connected with each other yes sharing the same health bar yes okay so it should feel quite familiar to players who've been playing the game the whole time yeah absolutely. it should feel quite natural to pick up yeah, absolutely. We wanted to keep it intuitive, and, and this this felt like the best format. We tried a lot of different things. I imagine it's quite difficult to communicate with the other partner. So how do we, you know, sort of overcome that? So one of the challenges we've had when developing this mode is is information overload. There's a lot more going on on the screen, especially because you've got you've got four players, so you've got effectively double the units. Yeah, on the, it could get field. so chaotic. Yeah, yeah the chaos is uh, is what it's all about in this mode. <laughs> the one of, one of the challenges has been with the with the UI and the, the HUD that we show because it's you want to all the all the buttons all and the buttons stuff. yeah because you you want to see what obviously your cards and your elixir are and no, what you're trying to place down but there's also the temptation to also 